So whether you feel like you're not skilled at it or you're just not comfortable asking for a better deal, remember that life is always for the taking. Hindi naman natin pwedeng makuha ang isang bagay na hindi din natin hiningi in the first place, di ba? Hi, this is Joe Fernando and I'm from Ramfer Financials. Kamusta po mga ka-RFF? I hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Para po dun sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe sa amin, I hope you can help us help more people fulfill financial dreams by simply clicking the subscribe button down below and please also tap na rin po the notification bell so we can update you of our future video uploads. Malaking bagay po ito para sa ating RFF community nang sa gayon ay marami pa po tayo yung matulungang tao. Thank you very much po in advance. Alam niyo ba na marami sa ating monthly bills ay negotiable? At ang mga nagsasabi sa atin na non-negotiable, ang isang bagay is in fact using that as a negotiation strategy themselves. Those of us familiar with haggling know the truth that everything is indeed negotiable. Lahat naman po ay napag-uusapan, di po ba? Good news is, by simply learning a bit of negotiation techniques, ay maaari na rin po natin mapababaan ang ating mga monthly bills ng around 20% or even more. Yan po ang pag-uusapan natin sa araw na ito. What are our 5 techniques to effectively negotiate to lower your bills? So, are you ready? Let us begin. First on our list is, do your homework on competitors. Parang sa gera lang yan, di po ba? Bago ka lumusob sa kalaban, kailangan naman na pag-aralan mo rin munang mabuti ang sitwasyon nila. Same rin in bills negotiation. Bago mo simula ng kahit anong pakikipagtawaran, make sure din naman po that you have done your research first on the industry's competitors. Meron bang mga mas mabababang presyo sa iba? Ano ang difference? What are the pros? What are the cons? May catch ba ito or parehong-pareho lang ang features? Kung comparable naman ito but for convenience purposes, you want to stay na with your current provider. You have to figure out your angle so you can work on it. It's best to know what you really want. Halimbawa, pagdating po sa pagbabayad ng cellphone bills natin, yung ibang cellphone providers are offering more data for a lower price and you need more data but you prefer to stay na with your current provider kasi nasanay ka na sa kanila eh. This can be a good angle for you. Knowing prices and perks offered by other service providers can really help you in haggling. Importanteng alamin natin ang mga mahalagang detalye para mas maging compelling tayo sa kakausapin natin. Kasi pag naramdaman ng kausap natin na sigurado tayo at alam natin ang mga pinagsasasabi natin, mas magiging epektibo at convincing tayo. And this leads us to the next tip and that is tip number two which is speak in a friendly but assertive voice no matter what happens. In negotiating, it always pays to be nice, polite, and courteous. If you're on the phone, the customer service rep will usually state their name and ask how they can help you. They will be more willing to go out of their way to help kung maayos tayong nakikipag-usap sa kanila. Pwede niyong simulan by saying, Hi, good morning. I have a small problem, miss, and I was hoping you can help me. You see, by asking them to help, you're immediately giving them an opportunity for a win. So sa isip kasi nila, help? Oh yes, I can do that. Yan ang trabaho ko eh. At mapaparamdam nyo agad sa kanila na may magagawa sila because you have empowered them right from the start. When you begin negotiating with someone, no matter who they are, the goal is to get what you want and that is lowering your bill. The thing is, that's easier to do when the other person likes you. So, you should be friendly and calm, yet still sound assertive so you have higher chances of getting what you really want. 
And so, our third negotiation tip is start high and give yourself some wiggle room. Lagi niyong sisimulan sa mataas na pakiusap. Ask for more than what you want, then slowly back down. One rule of any kind of haggling is to start with a lot of Wiggle room. Don't immediately go in for your bottom line. Halimbawa, you want a bill that is less than 10% than what you are currently paying for with some extra perks. Simulan mo sa 20% less and then work your way down dun sa gusto ninyo. So kung pumayag agad sila sa first offer mo, edi eh well and good. Mas napabuti ka pa, di ba? Remember, one of the keys to successful negotiation is to make it seem like you're on a team and you're finding a solution together. Kailangan may give and take din po kayo. Hindi pwedeng one way lang ha. When there are things that you somehow give in to, yung kausap mo mas nagiging cooperative and comfortable sa iyo. This brings the other person to your side without giving up what you actually want. Having said this, kailangan ready din po tayo with a backup solution. Minsan, di mo talaga naman pwedeng makuha ang gusto mo kung talaga namang hindi na kayang ibigay ng provider eh kasi baka malugi din naman sila. When this happens, you can instead look for other free add-ons like additional data, freebies, higher limits, at kung ano-ano pa. Tandaan po natin that the more solutions and options that we propose, the more likely it is that you'll find something the other side will be more willing to consider. And so moving on to our fourth tip, which is negotiate with the right person. Only negotiate with someone who has the power to do so. Normally, pag tumawag tayo sa customer service, ang unang makakausap natin ay yung first line rep nila na walang authority to negotiate. This is actually a strategy that most providers use. The first line rep kasi will tell you how sorry they are and how they understand your position but that they can't do anything about it. So when this happens, don't give up. Instead, ask to speak with someone who can help you. Palaging meron yan. Pero expect that they may be one or two transfers away ha. Again, isa na namang strategy ito para it won't be very easy for you hoping na tatama rin ka na rin in the middle of the process. So make sure din naman po that before you make that negotiation call, may sapat ka rin oras to finish it. And if you feel like you aren't getting anywhere, yung pangkutob mo, pinagpapasapasahan ka na or style nila para mainip ka, there are still things you can do. One is, hang up and call again. Big companies have lots of agents. If you try a few times, you'll get someone who is more than willing to help you. Meron yan, mag-try ka lang na mag-try. The other one is, ask to cancel your service. You won't actually do it, panakot lang kumbaga. But this will always get you to someone who can negotiate. Big companies have whole departments dedicated to keeping you from canceling. Alam rin kasi nila na mas mapapamahal pa sila to get a new customer than it is to keep you. So the person from this department will almost always have the authority to make billing exceptions for its clients. Alam nyo, maganda din if you can show your loyalty. Companies are more able and excited to help if you can demonstrate that you're a repeat customer. Siyempre, gusto rin naman nila that you continue doing business with them. So, isa sa mga pwede mong linya na mababanggit during negotiation calls is, alam mo, miss, ayoko namang lumipat sa iba eh. Kita nyo naman na good customer ako ninyo. All these years, I never failed to pay my monthly bills. Kaso, medyo malaki na rin naman talaga ang binabayaran ko sa inyo. Ano bang pwede nating gawin? Tulungan mo naman ako. And when providers hear you say this, for sure din naman that they will do their best to keep you satisfied. And remember, whether you get the deal or not, you always have to thank them ha. Sometimes they won't give in and it happens. Try to relax, understand, and keep your cool. Tandaan natin na ginagawa lang din naman po ng mga reps na yan ang trabaho nila. So it would be nice if you can also thank them for their time and effort before signing off. You'll never know din po kasi pag biglang nagka-problema rin tayo uli in the future kung kailan rin natin sila ulit kakailanganin. So never ever burn bridges. And so for our last tip, tip number five is... 
Don't say no for the other person. Marami sa atin hindi pa man po sinusubukan. Iniisip na kagad na mare-reject or mahihindian sila. Kesyo ay yung tono nitong customer rep na to mukhang hindi bibigay sa hihingiin ko. Naku mukhang masungit itong kausap ko. Di ito bibigay. At kung ano-ano pang mga imaginary scenarios. Remember, you'll never know what can happen unless you Try! At tandaan din natin na you will never be good at negotiation if you don't practice it. It's not complicated or difficult to learn the basics of negotiation psychology. What is difficult is getting yourself to put it to use when you're not used to it. So whether you feel like you're not skilled at it or you're just not comfortable asking for a better deal, remember that life is always for the taking. Hindi naman natin pwedeng makuha ang isang bagay na hindi din natin hiningi in the first place, di ba? Ang pakikipag-usap sa customer reps over the phone, in person, or online ay isa sa mga magagandang opportunities to start practicing your negotiation skills. And in the end, there's nothing worse than a negotiation that never ends. So, you also have to know when and how to stop, ha? Kaya importante din po that before you get to talk to the customer rep, ask yourself, what's the lowest rate that I'm willing to go and still be happy? By knowing when to stop, you can skip a lot of frustration and heated conversations. So knowing what you'll accept before you even start is key to getting what you want and keeping a negotiation from dragging on. At the end of the day, di ba't mas maganda pa ding maging maayos ang negotiation natin nang hindi tayo kailangang makipag-away? Ika nga in life, many times, it's always better to be nice and kind than to be right. And so I hope you've learned something new today in our five techniques to effective bail negotiations. If you think you have friends or relatives who might be in need of these contents, I hope you can share this video with them. And for those who haven't yet, please do subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Raffer Financials, and tap na rin po the bell button for our future video uploads. Again, this has been Jung Fernando saying thank you so much for watching, for all the support, and we'll see you in our next video. God bless!